So I came to the role of Shay through an audition and I was scared because it was my coming out party because I'm playing this outwardly trans character on TV. Like many of her trans sisters, Trace worked as a stripper to pay the bills in between acting auditions, where every day held the potential for violence. You're just on high alert all the time, and that's a hard way to live. I wanted to free myself from all of that. But stripping also meant a big, steady paycheck. So Lizette turned to friend and mentor Laverne Cox for advice when the transparent casting opportunity came up. I don't think that the transparent camp even understood what I was risking by accepting that role. Here I am taking a job that could lead to a better future, but I'm outing myself and people are gonna talk. So that was really scary, but I think that's just taking that leap of faith is um, wanting more for yourself. Trace took that leap of faith, accepting the role on Transparent. By season three, Trace left stripping behind when her character went from guest star to recurring and became the focus of a groundbreaking storyline with Mora's son. It was such an understated performance and so beautiful in these ways where Trace was just a beautiful woman. So someone like Josh on the show should be attracted to her. As their relationship evolved, the show's creators wrote a fight scene for the couple that ended up being one of the most powerful moments in the entire series for the trans community. Every girl I know can identify with being that for a man. And it's something that needed to be talked about for a very long time. It was expanding this idea of being able to love a trans person and that we're deserving of it. and also made people empathize with the heartbreak when people decide that they can't just because of our gender. But while the cast was pushing the envelope on screen, during its fifth season, real life drama was brewing behind the scenes. It was really heartbreaking how Transparent had to come to an end due to the allegations about Jeffrey Tambor being inappropriate, uh, abusive, entitled uh, to the women on set. In November 2017, news broke that Tambor had been accused of sexual harassment, assault, and inappropriate behavior by several members of the cast and crew, including Trace Lizette. Tambor categorically denied the allegations in a 2018 Vanity Fair interview. It's encouraging to see that I was heard and believed and supported. I did what was right for me with what occurred to me and my body. I'm just doing my best to push forward and um, put my energy into projects that will make my career flourish and not be defined by that unfortunate moment. All we are ever thinking as trans actors most of the time is, how can I be a good guest so I can be invited back? We don't usually want to rock the boat when we're on set. So when she spoke up, so did I. And I will continue to stand behind her. I just hope that the industry doesn't penalize us, the folks, for revealing what's really going on in these industries.